everyone and welcome to another video here on Clear Signal Productions. It's been a little while since I've done this vlogging sort of style of video, but I thought I'd try it out again on December 1st, 2018. So as you can see, the camera's not really focused, and that's because I've actually gotten a new video camera just to replace the aging Sony that I had before. And with this new one, I can't quite get it, I uh, can't quite figure out how to get it focused on a certain point like I could on the old one. But at 6 o'clock in the morning in December, there's not much to see out here anyway. So I'll just give you guys a little rundown of what we're going to do today. So right now we're on the road that they call Jacob's Ladder, which is pretty much the only way out of Massachusetts for people who live in this area of Connecticut and Mass. And it gets you out to New York. Now once we get to New York, we're going to get on the Interstate I-90, otherwise known as the Mass Pike. And we are going to head over to Voorheesville, New York. And you guys all know where that is. We've been there several times. From Voorheesville, New York, we're going to get on I-88 over in Rotterdam Junction. And after we pick up 88, we're going to get on... Uh, we're going to head over down to Binghamton, where the Toys for Tots train is running. And this year, they're doing some something a little bit different, since Norfolk Southern's not really... or Amtrak's not really involved with it anymore. Instead of using an NS leader with some P-42s, they're using an SD-40 or an SD-60E leading with the Pennsylvania Railroad E-8s, owned by Ben-11. So we're going to go check that out. It should be really interesting, even though they're trailing behind an NS unit due to cab signal requirements on the Norfolk Southern DNH. It still should be a good show. So we'll stop in Voorheesville for a little while just to kind of break up the driving. Then we'll head down to Binghamton, and we're going to chase the train all the way to Delanson, and they're making a few half-hour stops along the way. So, we'll see how we do when it gets later out. Alright, so, it's about 8.15 in the morning now, and I got to Selkirk here about 15 minutes ago, here at the West End, sitting at Stewart's Crossing, likely named for the gas station that's nearby. And we're looking at CPFB up there, all reds west. But I've decided only to go to Afton instead of all the way to Binghamton because it's a little bit closer by about 20 minutes or so. So that'll cut driving down a little bit because that'll still end up being about an hour and 45 minutes. So I didn't feel like driving another 20 out to Binghamton. But anyway. Since we're only going to Afton now, that also gives us some more time here in Selkirk. It gives us about 40 minutes to hang out and see what we can see, if anything. Should be some stuff coming east, hopefully, maybe some west. Don't really know. But that's the update for right now at 8.15 in the morning, and we'll see what goes down. So, here we are in Afton, New York, at milepost 587, on the Norfolk Southern DNH. And we've been here about 
15 minutes, and it should be about another 10 until the train gets here. Their next stop is about 7 miles away in Bainbridge, so we'll get some close-ups there. And here's more people. So, this should be an interesting shot with the old uh, DNH lights there, so that'll be kind of cool. But that pole there is kind of in the way, but I think I'll make it work. So, we'll see. There's only one I saw. Yeah, there's three in there. Oh, he's really moving. Yeah. In case you didn't realize that this is
everyone so I guess this would just about wrap up the video of the Toys for Tots train 2018 I didn't get a chance to do much of this vlogging type of thing because any extra time I had spent at uh, locations I was talking to a lot of people that I saw catching up with friends and things like that so I didn't get a chance to take out the camera and, and just talk but right now we're at the state line truck stop right next to the Boston and Albany. There's nothing coming, but I like to just stop here for a few minutes and wake up because the first part of that drive from Amsterdam for some reason just makes me really tired. So I pull in here for a little bit and wake back up. But anyway, I figured I'd wrap up the video officially. And I, I think it was a pretty good day. Got a lot of good shots with the E8s. And... Towards the end of it, in the Lansing, one of my friends has some alien bees, and he let me use, uh, borrow his trigger for a few shots, so I'll show those on the screen right now, in addition to a few other things. So, uh, as the hail starts to come down, or whatever this might be, sounds like hail, I guess I'll close it here. So, as always guys, thank you for watching, and be sure to like us on Facebook, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up, I'm sure, as winter starts officially in about a month, a little less. And a lot of good snow shooting should be coming up. So be on the lookout for that. Personally, I, myself, I would like to take a trip down to either the Reading and Northern or the New Hope and Ivy Land and do some more steam shooting. And the other guys, I don't know what they're doing. Um, uh, it's December 1st, and actually all three of us were out. My Myself and Ryan Trombley covered this run, and Ryan Moretti covered the AEM-7 farewell trip. I don't know how well he did. haven't heard much, but it sounds like he didn't do quite as well as he was hoping. But that video will also be going up soon, so be sure to look out for that. So, anyway guys, like I said, like us on Facebook, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you for watching, I'm Aiden Nice, and I'll see you in the next one.